As you know, Unity is a versatile and widely used game engine, popular among both indie developers and large studios for creating 2D, 3D, AR, and VR games. Unity offers a personal free tier for smaller projects and a paid tier like Unity Pro and Unity Enterprise for more established developers. But in a surprising announcement, Unity announced that they are increasing prices. So why this change and how bad is it? So Unity recently announced that they are raising prices on its paid subscriptions, specifically the Pro and Enterprise plans, by about 5% starting in 2026. For Unity Pro users, this works out to roughly an extra $10 per month, so the annual rate is jumping from around $2,200 to about $2,310 per seat, that is per year, and from $200 to $210 if paying month to month. Enterprise plans, which are custom negotiated for big studios, are also going up by about 5%. So this varies from studio to studio. These changes were officially announced recently and will take effect after January 12th, 2026. But there must be a reason for this price raise, right? Well, Unity frames it as part of the annual price adjustment, presumably to keep up with inflation and to sustain their business. And it is worth noting that this isn't the first hike that we have seen in recent years. You see, after the 2023 price fiasco, Unity had already upped Pro subscriptions by about 8% to make it reach $2,200 a year and significantly raise enterprise rates as they scrapped the controversial install fee idea. So I think while the latest increase is smaller, it continues a trend of Unity's paid plans which are gradually getting more expensive. And you can see for yourself that it is actually a trend. I would say just like Autodesk does when it comes to increasing prices for its software. The Unity development community's reactions, I mean to the price hike, have been mixed. So not everyone liked it and not everybody hated it. On one hand, some developers believe that this change is actually straightforward and not another weird surprise. In other words, we can expect it, so it does not ruin plans for developers. And honestly, some people think this sounds good, but why? Well, a clear and predictable monetization path with no nebulous trust me bro metrics. We can honestly appreciate that a modest subscription bump is far better than the dreaded port install fees that Unity had floated before. After the roller coaster of last year's runtime fees, a simple price increase feels almost comforting to some developers in its transparency, which is too good to be true. However, many others are still wary. Unity's reputation took a hit in 2023, and developers hadn't forgotten. Trust is a hard thing to earn back. As a developer puts it, the problem with Unity is that they broke one taboo of software aimed at professionals at least three times. You never retroactively change the license of major versions, so I can't trust any of the terms they put forth. There is actually an undercurrent of here we go against skepticism on forums and reddit. Even though 5% is not a huge jump, some developers are joking that Unity price increases are becoming as inevitable as death and taxes. Overall, the community vibe is cautiously resigned, better a predictable 5% bump than another crazy scheme. But there is a lingering bitterness in addition to fatigue whenever Unity asks for more money. The effects of this price change will be actually felt differently by indie creators versus large game studios. Indie developers, especially hobbyists and small teams, largely use the free personal plan, so many won't have to pay anything as long as their revenue stays under $200,000 per year. In fact, Unity's recent change actually benefited indies by raising the cap of revenue to $200,000, because before it was only $100,000 and even making the splash screen optional for Unity 6 projects. So a lot of solo devs and small startups can continue on personal for free and will not feel this price hike. However, for those indies on the cusp of going pro, say a small studio that finally lands some funding or hit game, the jump to pay Unity is gonna be steep. Unity Plus, the mid-tier that used to cost around $400 per year was actually retired in 2023. And now the only upgrade is gonna be Unity Pro, 
at over $2,000 per year per seed, which got a bit pricier. One long-term Unity user hinted that since the cheapest paid option is about $2,000 a year, they simply do not have that kind of money, and started eyeing another engine, such as Godot or maybe Unreal Engine as an alternative. And to be honest, this is not an isolated case, especially after this price jump, I think this is a pattern. You see, a 5% hike might sound small, but when you are on a shoestring budget, any extra cost can sting, especially after Unity already removed the affordable price tier. On the flip side, larger studios, I mean those making millions, typically budget for enterprise or multiple proceeds. So a 5% increase is more of a minor annoyance than a life or death issue for these studios. These companies usually have the revenue to absorb a marginal cost, I mean a bump that comes along the way, and many rely on Unity's high-end support or source code access that comes with enterprise plans. For a big mobile game studio or an established studio, I think the priority is stability, and they can swallow a price increase if Unity's tech and terms remain consistent over the years. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.